The popularity of AI tools is undeniable. Just a few days ago, the latest version of ChatGPT was released. And that's why today I'm going to create a website for my photography business using ChatGPT itself. I'm going to ask it to help me to create a brand for my business and then help me design the website that I'm going to later recreate in WebWave Website Builder. All the content will come from ChatGPT, will be generated by it. At the end, I will compare the latest version of ChatGPT with the previous one. If you're interested and want to know my thoughts, please stay till the end. But now, let's get into it. So, like I said before, I decided to use ChatGPT to help me to not only create a website for my business, but also to come up with the brand for my photography business. So I started with name. I asked it to suggest a name for my photography business. Um, surprisingly, I got like a single idea, just straight up. It was the first idea that I got. So it was captured visions photography. I wasn't really sold on this. So I asked it to give me another suggestions and another. And eventually I've got 15 um, ideas, options to choose from. I decided to go with chromatic studio photography and then went, then decided to ask another questions. I wanted ChatGPT to help me to create a logo for my business. I know that it can't yet, it's not available for everybody to create an image from the description, but you know, it gave me some ideas. What can I design later with graphic design tools? So what I really enjoyed was the fact that it didn't just write some bullet points of, you know, you should go with the camera icon or something like that, but it gave me those uh, ideas, but also described and explained why it's it's a good fit for my business it, it was giving me this reasoning why it's this answer not the other one even if i have to pick from them so uh, it was kind of grounded in the context of this conversation and, and what i was looking for i will show you later what logo i created based on this um answers and um, tips that uh, chat gpt gave me uh, another thing that I asked it to, to provide was the um, color scheme for my website. And once again, I was very happy with the response because I've got four colors uh, divided into primary color, secondary and stuff. And again, it was described how can I use it in my website and why it decided to go with this color like for a primary color it picked deep navy blue and the explanation was use this color for your main navigation bar headings and other primary elements it's versatile sophisticated shade that won't overpower your photography so you get something more than just the answer it gives you kind of this feeling like when you are in the process of brainstorming with your team everybody's not only just throwing the ideas out but they are giving the reasoning and that's what keeps you going and allows you to make some progress i really enjoyed this answer and i was also positive that i'm going to use all those instructions and suggestions that was added to the colors to actually create my my website so if the navigation bar is going to be blue I will go with it and I will rely on ChatGPT with this project entirely. Another thing that I asked also about was uh, what fonts should I use on my website? And as you can see, the, the answer was put pretty quick and straightforward. And once again, I, I'm totally going with these suggestions. Um, so then once the general idea of how the brand is going to look was created and was decided, I asked ChatGPT to create an outline for, for this website. It's six pages, six page website. Of course, we've got the homepage, the portfolio, the about page, services and pricing, blog and contact. Then I was, I just kept going with it. So I asked uh, another questions for about giving me specific details about each section. So write me a tagline for a hero section on the homepage. Uh, it was just a, you know, one and done, but I wasn't very pleased with capturing life's vibrant moments. So I asked for more options and it delivered. And then like, as I was going through each section, I was just asking to provide content for a recent project section and I got detailed description then provide content for welcome section and once again 
I got all I needed and provide content for testimonials and all that stuff. Once I got to the blog section, I actually decided to ask it to provide some ideas for blog articles. I've got 15 of them and they were pretty good and it actually made me want to go deeper into this. And I asked ChatGPT to provide a keyword and a query for each article topic. Uh, because you know SEO is important when you want to have a website for your business you want um, potential clients to find you and I was interested what can ChatGPT offer when it comes to um, content optimization so it gave me keywords and, and queries and then I uh, took one more step and asked it to write uh, optimized articles on some topics that I picked. I also specified that I wanted to write a meta title and description and once again the keywords and the query that's optimizing it for. And uh, I got the articles, they weren't very long because ChatGPT is limited to how many words their response is going to get, so they weren't very broad articles. But you need to have a blog, you can definitely use it to create content. So it was very, very helpful. You can, you know, use this article that the ChatGPT provides and uh, then just work with it and add uh, your sections, your paragraphs, but it's a good start. So when I got all of this, I decided to just, you know, put it all together into the website builder, into WebWave and create a website. Like I said before, I'm going to show you the logo and uh, all the branding that I that I basically uh, got from ChatGPT. And here's how it looks. Here are here are the colors that I decided to use throughout the entire website. I've got the fonts, the logos that I created. So those were my guidelines. And like I said before, when I was asking for color scheme, it gave me kind of like instructions, how should I use each color? And I was following those instructions. Um, when I was asking for an outline for this website, it also told me what should be in each part, how it should look like, where should be the call to action button and all that stuff. So I followed those suggestions and here's the website and here's how it looks. I think I'm not really sure if I would go with this type of color scheme for a website for a photographer, for a photography studio. This navy blue doesn't really speak to me. Photography, creative stuff, and you know, it's more navy blue is more associated associated with business websites. But you know, I think it's a pretty good start. You can always change something once you you are done. And if you don't like something, you're not like, you don't have to follow all those instructions for, that you get from ChatGPT, but I think it looks pretty good. And I am I was able to get everything, get the content and all the ideas about how the website is going to look and actually create this website in about the three hours. So that's pretty quick considering that I also have uh, blog articles here. So as you can see, it's all done. I can just publish this website and uh, you know make sure that my business will be flourishing. So that's very helpful. Like I promised, I'm going to talk a bit about the differences between the latest and the previous version of ChatGPT. Chris said that ChatGPT 4 is better at reasoning. Also, it's given more precise answers that are not full of like filler <laughs> unnecessary words that are more straight to the topic and the difference um, another difference that they are pointing out to is that ChatGPT 4 is slower than the previous version and in my opinion the description is true ChatGPT 4 is much better at reasoning answers are more cohesive more straight to the point and more interesting and inspiring to continue working with what it's giving you so like i said before it's not just giving you bullet points it's giving you all the reasoning all the explanations that actually inspires you and makes you want to keep going and generating even better ideas by, by yourself so i think that's great all those questions that i asked to chat gpt4 i also asked them to chat uh, gpt 3.5 just to see how it differs you know to, to truly compare it and for example when i was asking about the blog to write article ideas for the blog once it 
gave it to me, I, um, I asked ChatGPT to write an article that's optimized for SEO on topic number seven and then write all the all the keywords and metadata and all that stuff and newest version did just spot on you know just i i asked the the question and it gave me the answer but the previous version actually um needed some clarification it didn't understand what i meant by uh write this article on topic seven i had to explain once again that i mean the topic that it just gave me in the previous answer so that was the the big difference that shows you how how they improved this tool and what's the difference that you can actually have this seamless conversation with it right now and answers i are, are much better feel more natural more human like it's it's truly amazing kind of scary but definitely inspiring and promising for the future so that's the main difference that i can tell you about when it comes to the article itself i think the the one that was written by the latest version is better it's more it's got the better flow and when you're reading it it feels more like like an article less like separate answers for like topic that is given in the headline. So I think you can see also in those longer answers that the reasoning, the seamlessness of those answers is definitely improved. And when it comes to the time of giving the answer, yeah, that's true. The latest version is a bit slower, but it's not like huge difference or it's not like it works extremely slow right now. It is slower, but I think that's the price that you can pay for getting better answers. It's not actually very noticeable if you are not paying attention to this. So uh, this is not like a huge downgrade. It's just, it's just a difference. I'm looking forward to all those features that will let you generate images with ChatGPT. I think that's like another milestone and it will be available and I can't wait to test it out. For now, if you're interested in how you can create a website with both ChatGPT and AI art from Midjourney, you can watch my previous video where I created a website for mobile app Bloomify. So go check it out. And for now, we are waiting how ChatGPT will develop in, in which direction it will go. And you can be sure that I'll be there to review it for you. And for now, thank you for watching this video. I can wait for all your comments and see you in the next video. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye.